and we're gonna just not do anything and she's gonna die. Obviously. All this valiant effort, and she's gonna die next. <laughs> I mean, I kind of wish that with the same actors and everything that they would have turned this into a 90 minute movie. I think it would have honestly been pretty cool. Um, especially with this weird little... The lore of this this game is just pretty neat. It's not your typical horror movie. It's like, it, it's not exactly what you expect. And I felt that that kind of writing was actually really smart. I mean, this game does feel like a way too long horror film because it's more like... Uh, more like having to experience every single moment of horror or like an event and you know like there's a lot of stuff that's boring like just walking through long fields yes you were freezing now keep going yeah. I mean I just want to get through to the end because then I could uh, have those pop trophies pop and then and it sucks, because I have to replay this chapter just to get that last instant Inferno trophy for the Platinum, and it's a bummer that I can't just skip to the last decision and um, make it happen. I mean, I gotta say that all the women in this, this game, even though a lot of them were like prissy, entitled teens, um, are pretty damn tough. I mean, it, it, it's movie Hollywood tough, but it's still like... You know, they established like she's a pretty good climber, and, and then that's cool. Okay, so I think I gotta run and actually make it here. Oh wait, because it doesn't matter. You can't die until the. So I don't really understand why her, hers or Mike's timed events even matter, because you can't die uh, until the, until the end of this chapter, anyways. <laughs> I missed that on purpose. Oh, I'm out of coffee. Hey! I pray. Oh, come on, open up! Yeah. Guys, come Hopefully on, we'll be done there. with all of it in the next, like, 20 to 25 minutes. Damn. <gasps> okay. Oh, gosh. By the way, Mike, you killed too. M for no reason. You should, you should tell him that, even though all your other friends are dead. Come on. I always think games like this are interesting because they're like, oh, we're going to have you pick up the rock and put it through it. And it's like, that's the interaction that, 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 you're, that you're having fun with. Nah. I got him. It got God, him. What awful way to go. Not good. What do you think we should do? I should check the basement. Might be someone left out. Okay, yeah, so... Shit, that's what I meant with the whole, let me see if it does it again. Yeah, so, like, in certain situations you'll pause, and it does this thing, and then you could feel, hear, like, the creepiness. And I thought this was just, like, really cool little effect that they added on on it. Okay, but, 
Let's go. Let's go downstairs. Except, are there anyone else even alive? Oh, so it's gonna just be the monster that pops through. Dope. I'm assuming. Chances of survival. Zero. I'm trying not to think about it. Yeah. Uh oh. Shit. Sam. Run. Run! Why why are you waiting? Okay, so now we're upstairs, and now I have to have her die basically. So I gotta fail every every timed event. Don't fucking move, it must. Oh, okay. I like how these things battle each other. It's so fucking cool. But it's like, look how strong these things are. It's like, why would a chain have ever held one of these things down? They would have been able to literally rip it out of the, the wall without it being... without it mattering. Okay, so he's gonna end up sacrificing himself, but last. So I gotta... So I gotta, um... Which is good, because he's, he's a piece of shit, too. So... Yep. Nice. This part's cool. The Hannah, and I'm pretty sure that's the Hannah Warrior. Goodbye. Fuck you, other... other competition. Die. And then there was one. Oh my god! And then there were none. <laughs> So, everybody's dead. No one survived until dawn. So I managed to get that. The main structure is we did it. Destroyed. Over. God, this is Anna just popped. This is the end. Sweet. There is still no sign of any survivors. So this is the bad ending. Um. Everybody's dead. No. Oh, that's cool. So it's going to show you all the deaths. Neat. Okay. So I'm gonna go through. The only one who died normally. I wonder why they didn't show his death first. He was the first death.
some pretty gruesome deaths, but... That wasn't his actual death. His death is when he blew himself up. Well, everybody is dead. Sweet. So we got through all that. Um, shoot. So I'm gonna. S I don't think anything else. I'm gonna skip the next part. Hopefully it shows the next scene. Because there's a. I don't know if there's a hidden ending. Like there was in, in the good ending where you find out that Josh is alive. So that is that for for the for the everybody uh, dies thing. I think I have one more trophy I need to get. I've been totally talking without uh without with uh, the volume muted. So basically, uh, going through, I have to redo uh, episode ten, and the reason I have to do episode ten is because there's going to be the option when we get into that last room where um where uh, uh Sam gets the option to either save uh save Mike or press the switch, and so uh, we will do that, and then I will get the last trophy, which is, is Instant Inferno, and then I get the Platinum, and yay, Platinum, it's always, always fun, I believe that's going to make my 28th Platinum, uh, which is also my 28th Platinum in general, and my 20th Platinum for the year, since I only started trophy hunting in January, so, quite happy with that. I wanted to get 25 uh, Platinums uh, in the year, and I've uh, already gotten past that. So yeah, this is why it's kind of shitty that I can't skip through these cutscenes, because now i got to do all this crap that I don't care about again, just to get this last trophy, and it would have been awesome if I could have just, uh, you know, just started from the last scene and then done it. But, you know, we'll, we'll get through it, because this is the kind of tedium you got to do to... um to get through, uh, to get your Platinums. So, hopefully another 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll be done with this game. Uh, but I was quite happy with all the deaths. Um, just because it was really uh, kind of gory and graphic. However, I did feel it was a l the, the, the shitty thing I felt about it was the description from the flamethrower guy. He says, you know, they render you immobile, they rip your skin off piece by piece, and then, you know, while you're aware and eat feed on your organs. But so far what I got from it is they decapitate you and eat you. And it's like, it's still freaky, but then so many of the deaths, even though I thought, I thought the presentation of them was cool, um, ended up with just people getting decapitated.